was catching the knee on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so a couple, couple notes before we start up again here. I actually have three, three little things that I saw that I didn't like. One, some people are locking above the uh, leg here, above the knee, and you're starting from here. Again, if someone gets here, I'm in trouble. He's going to push his shoulder in and, and drive forth. All right, so go back. I'm going to take the butt of my hand as soon as he locks it. Go ahead. And I'm going to lift up and push off. And that's going to work great in the match when your leg's sweaty. All right. Second thing. Um, was, second thing was when uh, the hardest part of this move was switching the knees. So we got to we got to work on that again. All right. I post. Okay, and I come off. Now, he's not going to bring his head out if I don't make it uncomfortable. So start pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. What's he going to do? Pull his head. Now, here's where the tricky part is. Bringing this knee up, bringing that knee down, and then driving up over that. Now, that's where we're having trouble. I think that's, that's where we're losing, guys. Raise your hand if that's the case. Okay, so, so, so basically, you need to be able to do this. That's, a, that's sort of a basic technique in wrestling, but um, it's, it's not sometimes easy when you're in a position that you've never been in before. So I'm here, pushing, 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 switch. If he doesn't take his head out, you know, I mean, a lot of guys are waiting. If he doesn't take it out, you know, go the other way. Got it? You know what I mean? Don't, don't. Don't try to force this thing. Remember, you can do both. You can fake this way and go that way, but you can also fake this way and come back the other way. So why don't we work on that this, this time around, and then I'm gonna show you that seat belt. All right, because it, it'll save you here and there. So we go here, and he's just not bringing his head out, and he's kind of pushing me back and giving me trouble, so I can't get it. I'm gonna switch, catch his head, push, drive into him. And then when I do that, he, he comes completely erect and I step my leg up and catch the inside of his ham, my hamstring. That is a seatbelt. Go ahead and move around. Move around. I'm in great position here. It's like locking, legalized uh, locking hands. Different type of seatbelt here. We were here on the seatbelt, now we're here when we were doing legs earlier today. All right. So I'm driving. Can't get it, he's really stopping me. Switch, coming out, catch. And again, same concept. One knee goes up, one knee goes down, the other one comes up. All right, actually, uh, I lied to you. This knee comes down, the other one comes up, then, the other, then, then that same knee goes down and the other one comes up. So you go, you kind of switch twice. Here, down, up, down, up. All right. This this works a lot. You know, you hit a you hit maybe an arm spin or something. You're here, and you're working your way around. Or you know, you hit a, a beautiful duck, and you're going to come around. Okay. Seatbelt. Go ahead and move. Again. He really sits hard in you. Go here. And then what do I do? Go to my other seatbelt, right? Okay. And this time we're using the seatbelt and a scramble. Switch. Now I'm good. I'm just going to have to work real hard to screw this one up. Coaches, this is a great scramble drill. Both have seatbelts. Ready, wrestle.
me that. Well, that was a little Houdini at the end. I don't know what I did there. There you go. Woo!